12 News is here at local election headquarters. Maura Healy making her first campaign stop in southeastern Massachusetts since winning the Democratic nomination for governor in Tuesday's primary. 12 News politics editor Ted Nisi caught up with Healy and joins us now from New Bedford. Ted. Poll show Mara Healy with a big lead over Republican opponent Jeff Deal, but she says she's taking nothing for granted. Hey Democratic nominee for Massachusetts Governor Maura Healy getting a tour of the New Bedford waterfront from Mayor John Mitchell alongside her running mate, Salem Mayor Kim Driscoll. Healy says the visit shows she won't overlook southeastern Massachusetts if she wins in November. Well, housing is a need across the state. Transportation is a need across the state. But each region and here on the south coast, there, there are their own set of needs in terms of what needs to happen. Healy was unopposed in Tuesday's Democratic primary and says she wants to make Massachusetts <coughs> affordable. The things that we want to focus on, investments in housing, we know is so important. Also, we're not going to have a functioning economy if we don't have a functioning public transportation system. Healy will face Republican nominee Jeff Deal, who is backed by former President Donald Trump, but not by the outgoing Republican governor, Charlie Baker, who declined to seek re-election. Addressing reporters in West Roxbury Wednesday, Deal brushed off Healy's huge advantage in campaign cash. I'm not bought off by special interests like Maura Healy. She's got a lot of funding that comes from people who want to see Beacon Hill continue to do the massive spending that they do that lines their pocket. Lisa Kaczynski of Politico, Massachusetts, says Republican voters shifted away from Baker's brand of politics by nominating Deal. Definitely more conservative and more Trumpian than Charlie Baker, and Trump also is not popular in Massachusetts. Maura Healey was already um, the overwhelming favorite to uh, clinch the governor's office in November, and now she's running against a conservative Republican in a state that, um, you know, has not voted for that in general elections in the past. Deal has called for three televised debates between the two candidates. So far, Healy has agreed to one, but says she's considering more. In New Bedford, Ted Nisi, 12 News.